Is it obvious to you why one party in our basically two-party system has destroyed our border for the last three years? It's amazingly obvious to me, Rob. It's It's been obvious to you for a few years since the start of the Biden administration when yeah. just a month into his presidency, we saw the flow of illegal aliens into this country that continues unabated. And I just can't thank you enough for your monologue, for highlighting this. I really mean this for this reason. The attorney general of New York is not going to fix this. She's way too busy persecuting the former president over stupidity. Yeah. The Congress is not going to do anything, even though the House is controlled by Republicans. They will continue to fund these ridiculous nonprofits. And so the only way we're going to fix this is for people like you, for people like my colleagues at Heritage, to raise awareness in the public and not only get people to be aware of this, but to be so motivated by it that they turn out and vote the right way, which is to vote for candidates who want to end this nonsense. It is the upending of America as we know it, and we yeah. have to stop it. Yeah, and, and I mean, they, they, again, they, they scream about democracy all the time. These people have no clue what it even means. They will do anything to stay in power. And you know that the big tip-off was when we started to see the political capital that this was costing to Biden and Democrats, when we started to see these blue city and state leaders, you know, like Eric Adams, you know, it, it, like screaming for mercy, and they didn't get it, and the border stayed open, that's when you knew that there was a long game at play. And they might have, they might not have, you know, all of these people that have come in voting in this next election. But think two, four, six, eight, ten years down the road, what they're going to do with these people. And think about who these people are loyal to. Uh, and that, that's when it became very obvious that this was, a, this was a very sinister game that they were playing. Well, it is. A couple of things. The first is this is a long game that, that they're playing. And, of course, the, the radical left does a lot of things well. One of them is to get us, those of us on the political right, to focus on the short term, to focus on the tactical knife fights, as I like to call them. And we've gotten better at that as conservatives. But we have to, to your point, do a lot better job of recognizing this isn't a problem just for 2024 or 2026. This is a problem until we deport every illegal alien who's come into this country. And point two is we have to ask the people who are running for office and asking us for their vote, for our vote for them, whether they're running for state legislature or for Congress, are you, in fact, going to do what you say you're going to do, which is to shut off the southern border in the name of the rule of law so that we can keep this country free and actually adhering to the laws? It's something. It is something. The video is, is amazing. It's not surprising. Uh, these NGOs, I mean, we, we, they, they send money to these NGOs. They're, move, they're working across the border. They're showing people how to get into the country. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's such a dangerous game, and it's all politics at the end of the day. They don't care about any of these people, the, the politicians doing this. This is all about their power. That's what people need to understand. Kevin Roberts uh, from Heritage, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.